Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of February 2023. And I'll um, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Sagi. Alright, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Pentacles. This could be talking about a partnership of some sort. Uh, something meaningful, maybe a friendship, maybe more than that, I don't know. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Ace of Wands crossed by the Sun. So, it looks like things are kind of resetting, possibly, in a potential commitment here that's shown up. Uh, there's definitely desire to, to start over, to... to see where this is going next and things like that and really hope for happiness here on your side in this situation um it could be a brand new situation who knows but the energies around it feel like how you're going towards it feels really really good uh in your focus here the chariot mm. there's a little bit of rushed energy here on your side in terms of um maybe instead of allowing for things to kind of evolve on their own and just flow on their own um you may be kind of anxious about it like no no no, no, no I, I want it to happen faster maybe that's what this is in the recent past the king of swords lots of clarity coming through in there in your strength here the, the world card something may have come to a close or some sort of cycle is closing off here as you're experiencing all this in the immediate immediate future the star uh really kind of getting clear about uh your own desires basically uh the supporting energies here the four of pentacles having a hard time letting something go here the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it you have to wait for something um so yeah yeah that's what i'm getting with this one a little bit of Kind of like, well, you know, okay, I have to wait, but I don't want to. Like, I want for things to happen faster. There's there's a need here that you're not seeing for things to to kind of settle down on their own, um, which is kind of asking you this energy to to wait a little bit, you know. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Five of Swords, that's kind of a deceptive energy. I don't know what that's about yet. Uh, well... In all honesty, if the energy that's available is that of be patient and you're like, well, no, I refuse. It could be that kind of an energy that's shown up deceptive. Um, the potential outcome, the page of cups. There's your heart opening up here, starting to open up. All right, let's, um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the three of pentacles. Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. So the situation with this one is that there's two possibilities here. One, something broke off at some point and it's looking at a way of doing things in a very different way, you know, possibly restarting the whole thing, but doing it different this time around. Or that broke off, you moved on completely, you're stepping into something brand new. Um, both of those are valid under these energies. So, I don't know. You would know if it's something of the same, but looking different or trying to look different, or if it's something new. Let's do the Ace of Wands. The way you're carrying yourself around this and the energies that are coming through do look like they're new. That doesn't make the situation new necessarily. That means that your energies around that are you know like you press the reset button um for the ace of wands you get the knight of wands the six of swords the queen of swords uh, okay 
So based on how you would feel, what you think you feel here for the situation, you're being drawn towards something. When you bring your mind into the game and your mind is going with what makes sense, you pull away from that. So that tells me that you may feel that you need to head in a particular direction and you're stopping yourself. Um, let me do the sun. The chariot, the eight of swords, the hermit. Oh, okay. That's your anticipation. You... Oof. You're stepping into a brand new energy. The problem is you're not there fully. You're still kind of healing from something here. And your anticipation is tied up to that healing. Like, okay, okay, chop, chop. I don't have time for this. I've done all my healing. I'm great. Let's go. New, please, now. You know? And that's only happening when your mind is interfering here with the process of healing. Because the process of healing, you know, who knows how long it's going to take take two days it could take two months it could take two years and i know that's scary when you heard that last part but it could and the mind just wants to be there you know like i'm taking a nap for two years and wake up and be healed and that's that well no not really um let's do the chariot In your focus, the two of wands, the king of pentacles, the three of wands. Yep. Wait for it. Possibly focusing on... Because... On your own stability. Maybe your work. Maybe you got a project going on. Maybe who knows what you got going on. And I feel like that's where your energy is going. And I don't feel like it's going there to avoid this whole healing process. I feel like it's going there because it needs to go there at this time. And through that, there's a whole lot of, you're also healing whatever your heart's experiencing at this point by doing that. Because um, if that's where your energy wants to go, then let it go there. But you know that meanwhile, your heart is going through a process and that's where you're like a little anxious about it. Like, you know what? I wish I could be left alone to do my thing wherever I need to go in this project or wherever I need to put my energy and not feel what my heart is experiencing. You can't, you know? And it feels like you've been doing it for a while, this healing process, and it's still ongoing. You're still in it. You're losing your patience through it. That's the only thing, you know? Let's do the world card. And, and again, that only happens, the, the loss of patience only happens when your mind is coming through, creating all sorts of scenarios about the future, about the past, about all sorts of things. Um, beyond that, there's healing and healing keeps you in the moment. When you're in the moment, you have no future, you have no past. You're just there with the moment, with what's going on. So you don't need to know, oh, two years? No, that's the mind giving you those times time frames you know the present doesn't have time frames it's just present let's do the world card in your strength the four of cups the queen of pentacles the strength card this is a pretty huge deep healing process that you're experiencing um I don't know if this connection is still here, in all honesty. It could be at least a desire for things to be different and for things to, you know. But it's not about that. This is all about you and your own healing through whatever happened here over this. Um, I get the sense that there's a lot of insights that you're taking through, the, that you're um, having through this healing. Um, one that shows up here is that of putting yourself first, looking at all the times in which you didn't do that, that cycle is coming to a close, which is telling me you're actually really learning how to put yourself first and how to take care of yourself and how to love yourself. Because you're looking at that energy and you're kind of bummed out. You're like, oh man, yeah, I didn't love myself. Okay, time to do that. You know, so there's, there's several 
things that are happening here through your healing and it's it's pretty strong it's pretty strong what's coming in as feeling to you the strongest could be the sense of anticipation of when is this healing going to be done because you know i'm kind of tired of it um but there's a lot of things that are happening beyond that let's do the star in the immediate future the nine of wands the world card the eight of wands You're coming strong with an energy of, I really, really want something here. And then you're showing me, I really, really don't want this something anymore. So a shift in what you desire, and then they're, they're normal, you know, they're, 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 they're normal. They're. Um, but it's like, okay, if I don't want this, then what do I want next? You know, what do I replace that with? And I feel like that's the place that you have no clue because again a, a, a cycle coming to a close here over what you wanted but then you didn't want anymore and like how to deal with that now that cycle is closing so you're done with whatever it is you wanted at some point possibly out of this situation um but i feel like your dilemma here is not that that closed off but like what's next you know Almost like looking for a replacement. Um, try not to look for it and try not to see it as a replacement. It's just a shift, just like everything else. It comes in as normal and I feel like the more you look for this replacement, the more you won't find it. It will be replaced with something that represents something to you. You know, but you got to allow for that space. You got you to gotta clean up that closet so that new can come in. And it will come in on its own. You don't have to look for it. What's next? That's the mind again, you know, projecting you into the future to look for next. Let's do the Four of Pentacles and the supportive energies. The Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, the Seven of Swords. You're rushing. There's a process that you're rushing. This process of moving on. You want to be there now. You're ready. You're not though, and you know that. You know. You're not. You're you're ahead of the game. With your mind, but your soul is not healed in this. So you're not allowing yourself the space and the time to to go through this whole process of healing by running ahead of the game. You know. Like well, yeah, but you know, I'm tired of it. I get it. I get it, but it's, it's, it's not going to do you any favors to rush this process. You know, you're, you're skipping some steps will not benefit you on the long run. So you might as well, since you're in here, let it happen till it ends. You're, you're rushing. You're rushing this process of healing. Let me do the Two of Wands and the Hidden Energies. Eight of Cups, Five of Swords. Four of Swords. Yeah, yeah, you're tired. You're like, no, I want to... Exactly what I just said. Uh, but this is the energy that you're really not seeing. The fact that you may be rushing through your own healing process here. Uh, because you're excited about, you know, jumping into different energies. Experiencing something new. Like, you're done with this. You're tired of it. Um, it's quite self-sabotaging. Self-deceptive, as I said. It's, it, at some point, it's going to blow up in your face. And you don't want to jump into new energies and feel like, oh my god, I'm good, I'm over it, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm great. And then, poof, like a freaking train, in the middle of your next chapter's happiness. I don't think you want that, because that's how it comes through. You know, these things are going to come back. What do you think? They're yours. Where, where, where do you think they're going to go? If you, you know, kind of try to, to escape them. They're going to be dormant for a while, and then they're going to pop back up. Hey, Sadie, you forgot about us. We're yours, you know? So, I know it's a process, and I, I know sometimes it seems long, like never-ending, like, oh my God, I'm gonna be at this all my life. Uh, healing process, yeah, you'll be out at it all your life. Healing process over this, no, it's just a chapter. It's gonna go away, but you have to let it complete, you know? 
For the five of swords in your hopes and fears, you get the star, the tower, the nine of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, figuring out... Let's say you can't figure out what you want next. I'll give you a, a homework type thing. Figure out what you don't want. If you can't figure out what you do want for the next chapter of your life, figure out what you don't want. That might reveal what you do want, you know? Because there's strength behind that, behind figuring out something tied up to your own desires. There's strength behind that. As you start on this path of let me figure out, let me see what's next, let me... Blah, 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 it looks deceptive, the energy looks deceptive. You know, as you break through this energy, you look empowered. So if you really are that, mm, let me figure out what I want next and focus on that, if it hurts here when you do that, because sometimes it does, start figuring out what you don't want. You know? And don't take that as rushing the process also. Oh, now I know what I don't want and what I do want and whatever is getting clear to me. Let me go focus on that and disregard everything else that comes through this healing. Because, you know, I'll have something to focus on. No, don't take it as, you know, your, your escape route. Oh, now I know what I want. Um, I feel like you, you keep on trying to escape this process. Um, okay. But try not to. Let's do the Page of Cups and the potential outcome. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Double. Ah, oh, man. Don't rush. Don't rush. What am I going to do with you? I see you opening up. I see you opening your heart up. Being like, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on the world. I'm ready for what's next. And what's next is there. And you look like you're ready because you're convincing yourself of that. It's, it's, it looks nice. You're not ready. The devil is the energy of all of this that you keep on escaping from and coming right back here into this one little energy, one little card, the devil. Whatever this is, even though it looks pretty and you think you're ready, it's going to discard all of this that's unhealed back into the situation. Even if it's a new situation, even if it's someone you've never met. And it looks pretty, it looks nice, you think you're ready, you, you go for it, you, you're good. But they carry the devil, and the devil is all of this that you keep on trying to escape and not heal, and be like, okay, I'm done, chop, chop. So be patient with your own healing. Stop trying to escape it. I promise you it's not going to last forever, this one. It's not. And I know how you think. No, it is, because it feels like forever. It feels like I've been doing it forever. And sticking with it a little longer, that's forever. No, it's not. Uh, that's, again, the mind projecting you into forever. What's forever for the present? Nothing. It's the moment. It's everything. You know, so try to keep yourself in the moment as much as you can. Try not to escape your own healing. Uh, oh. Let me see what the universe has to close off. Three of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Swords. There is that desire or that hope that maybe things will get restored here and I don't have to go through any kind of healing. Let's say things do get restored. You still have to go through healing. This situation brought up some things for you to heal. Just because you patch it back up and you're like, oh, I feel so happy now. That doesn't mean these energies go away. They've been brought up. They've been surfaced. They're here. We're not going to go sink down again and be like, okay, Saji, you're good now. You're happy. Yay. No. So there is still hope here, but I do feel like there's some heaviness on that hope. Kind of like, um, I don't know, if you're going to try to to get this back or if someone's going to try. Because there's, again, there's heaviness and there's pain. And all of that is these energies that you're trying to escape. So even if this happens and it looks pretty, yes, this doesn't look as pretty. It's still going to be here. So don't, don't, stop trying to escape it. Come on, Saji. Anyways, um, let's see the Sacred Forest Oracle for you. <laughs> you 
eagle spirit, freedom. No, don't don't interpret that as yeah, escaping. No, uh, that's not it. The eagle is not going to save you. All right. Eagle spirit. The spirit of the eagle says, this is a time to express yourself. Don't hold back. Choose life on your terms. Don't be trapped by the expectations of others. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.